June 6th, 1966. A senator's wife had a child. Six years later, everyone around the boy started to die mysteriously. A detective was called to investigate the incidents. Slowly but surely, the curious case started to consume him. The deaths were surrounded with the paranormal and entangled with the supernatural. All the man could come up with was Senator Charles Wagner as the prime suspect, and only after witnessing him shooting his wife with a nail gun. In the end, only thing he pulled out from that burning Dante Manor was the child. My name is Detective McGuffin, and I was the guy sent to investigate them. The boy's name is Lucius. The whole house burned down to the ground, and we couldn't save them all. I managed to get the boy out, and at that time I was convinced it was his father Charles who was behind the murders. In these situations, the procedure was to take the boy to psychiatric evaluation, so I headed to St. Benedict's Hospital, the very same hospital he was born in. It was only fitting to visit it once more. He was sitting quietly in the back seat, staring at me through the mirror. When we arrived just before the nurses came to get him, he leaned forward and whispered something into my ear. The hair on the back of my neck stood up as I was overwhelmed with emotion. The whispers kept running through my head that this was no ordinary kid at all. As I returned to my apartment, I started to put the pieces together. They were all pointing at the boy. How could I not see this before? Was Charles right all along? Was I actually helping the devil's son? Yes. You finally understand your place in all this. You're him, aren't you? Come now. You have been able to sense it all along. Deep inside you, there's been something telling you to do the right thing. But I'm... Um, I'm Catholic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so am I. We are all just part of his plans. My job is to make things slightly more interesting. And me, I'm also just a part of the plans. You have done what you are supposed to do, and you are going to do a lot more. You are only getting started here, and look at it this way. You are just serving the Lord in the end. He is the one who actually devised the upcoming rapture. I'm just putting my little twist on the whole thing. We are all just fulfilling his wishes here. So, just relax and listen to what I have come up with for the boy now. <laughs> I was conflicted, but eventually I had to give in. All along I've been a servant to the cause. I was meant to travel this world as a servant of Lucifer and to protect his son. Lucifer had a plan that would bring everything together, and it was my job to see after Lucius. He'll have to look for the ashes to this little game that's been created for him. The Dark Lord has taken his powers away and leveled the playing field. It will not be an easy task for the boy, but it's all necessary sacrifice that will, in the end, pan out the way it was supposed to. They evaluated the boy and committed him. He had lost his abilities to influence anyone. Thoughts of abandonment were filling his head and his thirst for blood was gone along with the rewards he'd already been given. It took six months until the boy was woken again. No blood was spilled. Someone up there was happy. It finally happened when they brought two new patients in. They were both rambling about a prophecy and to make things more interesting, the other one was a woman of the cloth. Immediately, Lucius realized that there was more that he had to do, so in the blink of an eye, he attacked them. There was a fire inside him again. He was not for sale. He felt useful again. However, the employees managed to put him down. He was drugged, dragged to shock therapy. The boy had gathered a following throughout the hospital. Some of the patients naturally looked after the boy, but not these employees. 
They shackled him, imprisoned the prince. They laid him down on the bed ready to be shocked. But what they did not know, and what they could not guess, is the answer to a question. What happens when you shock the devil's son? I 
to break the shackles. Blood was spilled, and he could feel how the souls were powering him. The stray jacket he had on with all the blood on it would attract way too much attention. Luckily, his old suit was still there. The time had come once again to put it on. The first thing he did after breaking out was to open up all the other wings of the mental ward. This would allow Lucius to freely roam around, wreaking havoc.
and she told me that I was the problem. Women. Can't live with them. Can't kill them. <laughs> hey, hey, why is the space between a woman's breasts and her hips called a waist? Um... <laughs> because you could easily fit another pair of tits in there. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> a good one, Sam. A good one. Hey, I got one. What do you get when you put a menstruating maid into a senator's mansion? What? A bloodbath. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You're sick.